Vanna White is probably the most famous woman in game show history and has been the face of Wheel of Fortune for more than 40 years. But the truth is, she almost didn't get the job and the reason why will shock you. And then she almost lost it again, thanks to some very racy photos that she desperately wanted to keep secret. We will show you that photo in this video alongside some of her rare photos. And as a bonus, stick around to the end for the top 10 most amazing facts about Vanna White on Wheel of Fortune that almost no one knows about. With that said, let's get started. Did you know that before her fame, Vanna worked as a model and was even one of the finalists in the 1978 Miss Georgia USA pageant? Vanna is from Atlanta, and she is a professional model. I'm a professional model, and I'd like to advance my career in this business, and I enjoy meeting people. However, she wanted more from life than to just be a model. So in 1979, Vanna made a big, bold, terrifying move. With whatever little money she had, she decided to move to Los Angeles to pursue a career in acting. $1,000 to my name, $300 for the car, $700 for the apartment, and a job immediately. But that first job wasn't anything glamorous. Not just yet, anyway. Vanna's first form of work was as a waitress, which meant that she was struggling to get by. And it was because of her financial struggles that Vanna did something unthinkable and that she regrets even to this day. You could call it a scandal that nearly ruined her career. It involved semi-naked pictures and two lawsuits that nearly ended her career, but it would not come back to haunt her until years later. So we'll get into more detail on that a little later. For now, let's stay on track. Vanna was doing everything she could to survive and to make her dreams a reality. However, tragedy would fall in the way of those dreams. In 1980, when she was just 24 years old, she had to put everything on hold. Vanna's mother died after battling with ovarian cancer. Since she was very close to her parents, the sudden loss must have been really hard on her. In a later interview in 2018, she said, I talk to my dad every day, and though my mom isn't physically here with me, I know she's with me in everything that I do. Eager to become a star, Vanna returned to Los Angeles after her mother's passing. And between 1980 and 1981, she landed a few small roles in equally small films. What most Vanna White fans don't know is that she was actually on another game show before landing her part on Wheel of Fortune. Although it wasn't as a presenter, but as a contestant. Look, here she is on The Price is Right in 1981. However, it wasn't a good experience for her. The host thought that she was just full of herself and that she couldn't stop looking at herself on the main monitor. Here is what he said to her. You know, you're so busy looking at yourself on the monitor, you don't know what's going on. But as she later explained, she was really just looking at the monitor to try to find a friend in the audience who was supposed to help her with the answers. In 1982, something happened that would change her life forever. Susan Stafford, who had been the original Wheel of Fortune co-host for seven years, decided it was time to move on. In a desperate attempt to fill her shoes, the show's creators had 200 hopeful young girls audition for the spot. Of course, we all know that Vanna was the one who wowed the producers the most, and they instantly fell in love with her. But she almost didn't get the job, and you might find this next bit very hard to believe. The biggest obstacle in her way was the actual star of the show, Pat Sajak. He wanted the producers to pick someone else, and he made no secret of it. I didn't recommend Vanna, and Vanna knows this. Pat just felt that during the auditions, Vanna was way too nervous and unsure of herself, and she really was. But the show's creator, Merv Griffin, had the final say. Merv knew that Vanna was exactly the kind of girl the show needed, the kind of girl that the public would love. He said, first of all, you and Pat make a great brother-sister team. I see you guys together. And you did turn the letters better than anyone else. And Merv was right. The chemistry between Pat and Vanna was clear from the very first moment. What followed next for Vanna White and for American audiences was pure and absolute insanity. She became an overnight sensation, so much so that there was even a name for it. They called it Vanna Mania. She appeared on the cover of magazines, on the biggest and most popular talk shows, and even had a Vanna White doll made in her image, complete with a whole range of elegant gowns. Life couldn't be better for Vanna White, or so everyone thought. But behind the glitz and glamour and the admiration, there was something dark and painful that loomed in her life. Vanna was engaged to the young and the restless actor, John Gibson. They were madly in love and had been together for about five years. 
In fact, it was John who helped and encouraged her to land her spot on Wheel of Fortune. But then, she was met with tragic news. John lost his life in a plane crash. He was the pilot and the only one on board. He was killed instantly, but the sudden loss nearly killed Vanna. My boyfriend at the time was killed in a plane crash. That was devastating. It was May 17, 1986, she once recalled in an interview. The second I heard about it, I fell to my knees. It was just devastating. It was only the love and support from her fans that helped her through and gave her the strength to carry on. But in that same year, her life would be thrown into turmoil once again, all because of a stupid mistake she made when she had first moved to Hollywood in 1979. Down on her luck with no money to live, Vanna took some drastic measures. She was too proud and scared to ask her father for money, so she did a sexy semi-nude photo shoot posing only in her lingerie. At the time, she knew that what she was doing was wrong. She knew she shouldn't do it. Later, revealing her regret, Vanna said, From the moment I said I would do them, I thought, I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm not going to ask my dad for money, so I'm just going to do it. However, she never thought those photos would ever see the light of day. But what happened was worse than she could ever imagine. The photos landed on the cover of Playboy magazine. Now famous, everybody wanted a piece of Vanna White. When Hugh Hefner heard about her half-naked photos, he immediately bought them. Vanna feared that it would destroy her career. She was the much-loved face on a family show. What would people think if she appeared in a dirty magazine with almost no clothes on? Before the Playboy issue was released, Vanna sued Hugh Hefner in federal court and also filed a $5.2 million lawsuit against the magazine. But ultimately, she dropped everything and allowed Playboy to publish her photos. But if she was so worried that it would ruin her career, why did she still let them get away with it? Because while promoting the cover, Playboy made the photos out to be far more revealing than they actually were. And so, if they didn't publish it, the public would also believe that the photos were much more scandalous than they really were. As Vanna sadly revealed it herself, non-publication of the photographs under these circumstances may very well be more damaging to me and my career than the injury which I will undoubtedly suffer from publication. If Vanna thought things couldn't get any worse for her, she was mistaken. Life was still not done with her. There was even more tragedy in store for her. In 1990, she married film producer George Santo Pietro, and just two years later, the couple had wonderful news to share with the world. Vanna was pregnant. They even shared the news on the show in a very special way, having it on the board as one of the answers to a question, spelling out Vanna's pregnant. But just shortly after that episode aired, Vanna suffered a miscarriage. In a later interview, she shared her pain, saying, I so wanted to be pregnant and have a baby. So then when I finally got pregnant, I wanted to tell the world immediately. Obviously, I lost the baby, which was devastating after announcing it. It was once again the support from fans and friends that helped her through. And in 1994, Vanna and George welcomed their first child together, a boy named Nico. Then three years later, Vanna gave birth to their daughter, Gigi. Sadly though, Vanna and George's love story was not to last. In 2002, the couple called it quits, but she did find real love again in 2012, this time with contractor John Donaldson, whom she met through mutual friends. Despite on-again, off-again rumors that the two are planning to get married in secret, Vanna told in 2023 that they have no plans to tie the knot. I mean, we've been together 12 years, and I feel like we are married. Do we have to get married? No, because we feel comfortable in our relationship. In 2019, tragedy almost struck again. This time, it was with co-host Pat Sajak. Pat was out with his daughter for a ritual morning walk, but when he got back home, he suddenly collapsed in the fetal position, wrought with excruciating pain. Pat was rushed to hospital and needed immediate surgery. Not only was Vanna scared that she could lose yet another loved one, there suddenly rested a terrifying burden on her shoulders. Who was going to host Wheel of Fortune? Much to her horror, the show's producers asked her. At the time, she had been on the show for 37 years, but never did she have to present the show. It was nerve-wracking for her. I was petrified, terrified, but I did it. <laughs> Pat returned to his spot after several weeks of recovery, but had announced the news that everyone dreaded. Pat is walking away from the show and finally retiring after 41 seasons. Filling his shoes is Ryan Seacrest, who is no stranger to reality TV. But fans are scared. What does this mean for Vanna? Will she also hang up her mantle and step down? Well, 
You can rest assured for now, Vanna has no plans of retiring anytime soon. In fact, Vanna is stepping up. Fans of the show might be really shocked to learn this, but did you know that reportedly, Vanna hasn't had a salary increase in 18 years? With the news of Pat's retirement, Vanna decided it was time to stand up for herself, and also for all women who are treated unfairly in the workplace. According to sources, she demanded at least half of what Pat was being paid. To put it into perspective, Vanna's reported salary was around $3 million per year. Sure, that sounds like a lot of money, but wait until you hear what they paid Pat and tell us if you think it is fair. 15 million. That's right, Pat's reported salary on the show was $15 million a year. That's five times more than Vanna's. And to be fair, Pat and Vanna are equal hosts on the show. Even the show says they are equals. Without Vanna, will the show ever be the same? And would it ever have been the success it is today without her? Probably, Vanna was born for the role. One thing is for sure, she always knew she would be on television one day. She was born Vanna Marie Rosick on February 18, 1957 in South Carolina and was raised by parents Joan Marie and Herbert White. But since birth, her mother kept a serious secret from her. Only when Vanna was 12 years old, did her mother explain to her the truth. The man who she thought was her father wasn't really her biological dad. Her real father had run away and abandoned her when she was only a few months old. But Herbert White raised Vanna as his own and loved her as his own. Growing up, she loved to watch game shows. And if you think it's a magic coincidence that Vanna herself ended up on a game show, think again. She was just 10 years old when she fell in love with television. More specifically, she knew that one day she was going to be up on that stage. One show that really inspired her was a program called The Rat Patrol. Vanna instantly loved the show. Little did she know that the man starring in the show, Christopher George, was a childhood friend of her mother's, knowing that inspired her even more. And one of her favorite game shows of the time that also really inspired her was called Concentration. Vanna loved the show so much that when she was 12 years old, she even visited the set. Once Vanna graduated from high school, she enrolled in the Atlanta School of Fashion and Design. There, she studied fashion merchandising and poise. It was after graduating that she first moved to Los Angeles to become a star in Hollywood. The rest, as they say, is history. And now, let's dive into the most surprising facts about Vanna White and Wheel of Fortune that most people may not know about. Number one, Guinness Book of World Records. Vanna holds a world record for clapping. Yes, you heard that right, for clapping. Number two, Vanna White's name has been made a verb. If you look up Vanna White in the Merriam-Webb Dictionary, you will find it there. Vanna White means to present, to present. According to the Merriam-Webb website, here is what it means. To Vanna White, named for the longtime hostess of Wheel of Fortune, it's used to mean to gesture towards something in order to indicate it to an audience. Number three, Vanna is not a big talker. You may struggle to wrap your head around this, given that she's one of the biggest TV personalities of our time, but Vanna White is actually a very shy person. I'm shy. I'm shy. I'm not outgoing. Really? I'm a homebody. I like staying home. But you're on TV. I am on TV, but you know what's interesting? How much do I talk on TV? Number four, her wardrobe. This will blow your mind. Can you imagine that over the years, Vanna White has worn over 8,000 gowns? Not one dress is ever repeated. With every show, she wears a new evening gown. Number five, Vanna's secret to looking her best. Vanna has a very surprising secret to keep looking her best for every show. So can you guess what it is? Number six, crochet. You might wonder where she finds the time to fit everything in, but she loves to keep busy. One of her hobbies, crochets. And if you are still wondering where she finds the time, this next point will really surprise you. Number seven, work days. If you think Vanna White is flooded with her work schedule, think again. They shoot six shows a day, but just four days a month. So that means that on Wheel of Fortune, Vanna works less than 50 days a year. Number eight, drunk at the wheel. Not at the wheel of a car at least, but drunk on Wheel of Fortune. Pat admitted that in the early days of the show, he and Vanna would get a little tipsy during filming, drinking margaritas at a restaurant across the street. So we would go, Van and I would go across and have two or three or six, and then come and do the last shows and have trouble recognizing the alphabet. Number nine, the wheel. There is only one wheel on Wheel of Fortune, and it weighs 2,400 pounds. 
So whenever the show has to go on the road, they have to pack the wheel up and take it with them. And finally, number 10, the show's name. Originally, the show was called Shopper's Bazaar, and instead of winning real money, players won fake cash that they could use toward real prizes on the set. Are there any interesting facts about Vanna and the show that you know about that we missed? We'd love to hear it. And what about Vanna White's life surprised you the most? If you enjoyed this video, there's a good chance you'll also enjoy the one showing on your screen right now. Click, enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one.